Hello and welcome. Here we are again, the Marianne and Corinna show, <laughs> which may be for a while every other Tuesday in the summer. Uh, we don't know. We're playing it by ear. And what is today's theme? Why might you change your vibration? That's a really strange question on the one hand. And it grew out, as you know, out of our conversation we had yesterday where we talked about what was going on and what the vibration, the energy level each one of us had. And we chose the word vibration, but from a purely physics perspective, vibration and energy are connected. If you have a, again, purely physics perspective, a low energy, you also have a low vibration and uh, or a lower vibration. If you have high energy, you have a higher vibration. <coughs> Not that one is good or one is bad. And let's be honest, at least from my perspective, I can I have days where I'm on a roller coaster. And I have days where I'm sort of even keel, you know, and also asking the question, if you are sad, how easy is it for you to perceive excitement, to go mm -hmm. into excitement? How much may it rub you the wrong way? At least it can me. Uh, if somebody is all ah, excited and I'm sad, you know, it's sort of that contradiction in energy has effects. And if I use that, then, as I said, if I'm sad, mm -hmm. how much can I perceive a higher energy, a higher vibration? Uh it's, it's going to be difficult. And I also know that even no matter where I am, I can choose to move into that space. So it's not per se exclusive, but it's not a normal, natural way of functioning for, for us humans to be in one energy and then jump into one that is way higher or probably even way lower. Unless something mm -hmm. happens that a memory pops up and you just, oh God, I remember the death of a friend or the accident or, or whatsoever. And then it's usually probably only temporary. It's not, like I said, I can have days which are even keel, where I entertain certain thoughts, where I feel certain energies, and then I have days that are just all over the place. Exactly. How is it exactly. for you? Oh, there, there was so, so much going on when listening to you especially due to what you mentioned with the sadness and then you can't perceive the, the happiness on the other side. And what I came really aware in, in that moment was, wow, that is something different that I'm choosing lately there also. As I am with you, I would say also it is not that easy to perceive the other side as the happiness the joy when you are in that vibration darker vibration lower vibration nevertheless i choose more and more and i come came out of such a, a period of going really really deep and really deep into the tunnel in in the cave in the deepest of the cave of myself. So yeah, I couldn't see, I couldn't see the light in a way, mm -hmm. but I knew it was there. And within, I knew that then the higher vibrations are also there as the happiness. So choosing to know what you know there 
and allowing and going through such a second because my computer is doing weird things. I'm still here? Yes. Yeah. I'm. So allowing myself using also that intense lower vibration as how oh, perhaps it's a, a weird comparison I'm gonna do now, but you know you 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 require a drill to have that hole in the wall to mm -hmm. put or hang something up. So you use also an intense lower vibration to drill through something. Yeah. And that is in a way also what I did the the last mm -hmm. time especially was was really knowing because even in that dark in those dark moments and they last for a few days i could sense in a way that happiness that also was vibrating within i wasn't happy but i i noticed it that it was there and i mm. used the lower vibration to come there and the frequency yeah that is also karina isn't it when we say when we go through some stuff we transform it and then mm -hmm. as the effect of it we become a higher frequency so yeah. what if if that is now the time to acknowledge that more that i require perhaps and even if the word require is not a correct word but that is what i can put on the vibration that I sense now is what if we require those denser, lower, intense vibration to come to what is in, in, inclusive because they are not separated. The highest happiness, the brightest happiness is not excluded or separated from the heaviness or the darkness or the sadness. It is within, in the two sides. Within the happiness, there is that sadness and in the sadness, there is that happiness. And, and it's only, yeah, we are in that kind of vibration, lowest in between, high towards what, yeah, what we are choosing, but also what is, what is up in our worlds that we have to figure out, that we can let go of, that we have to work through. So we become more conscious, we become more clear. So that's a, another take I, I got out of it when listening to you. And when listening to you, I became aware of how much have we, and to some extent, I would say, even still, church in this re from this reality's perspective, there are good emotions and there are bad emotions. Emotions we are willing to have or we strive for and emotions that we are not willing to have. So we do that separation yeah. And what if it makes it easier to not separate them, to allow that tension between a, let's say, sadness, being in sadness right now because of whatever, and still being aware of the happiness that is also there and is also possible. And that awareness makes it easier for me to, when I'm done muddling through that sadness, to go into that happiness. Exactly. Instead of through the separation and saying, this is good and this is bad, I sort of get, it feels like I get stuck in the one or the other. Yeah, and how much is that pushing you when there is a judgment that it that the sadness is bad? How much do you push yourself 
to run away from it, to come out of it, where in truth, in that sadness is so much to learn, so there much to get out. Richness. It is, it yeah. is. And somehow the question that pops for me, and I don't have an answer, I'm having only a question, is I have to look it up really between that frequency and, and vibration as somehow I can perceive also, because we uh, our question is, why might you choose to mm -hmm. level up your frequency? And for me, when, when I see now how I go with it, the, the inclusion instead of the separation is, is this possible because of choosing, going, leveling up every time again my frequency so I can include more, so mm -hmm. I can be aware of more even, I can perceive more. So the whole package or the package is completer and we have a complete, a complete over view in a way so i'm not sure if i already get the difference between the frequency and vibration what are they saying how can i level up <laughs> perhaps it's not a doing that's for me how i notice it that it is not a doing it's not a one-way ticket it's not a one formula it's not a one exercise it's more about being present for me present with what i am choosing and allowing myself working through through whatever there is in my day and coming up even the happiness working through because there is some richness in it also to get out and to become clear about it. And then it is as a fact of it, you notice that everything is different, that you go along different with the things, that your reactions are different, that your, your allowance is growing, that, yeah, that's a bit my take. What is your your take, uh, Corinna, on that, on that? I I would ag I would agree. And the image that just came, listening to you and pondering the question, is sort of if I separate that and I'm in sadness, then I have a certain box size. And if I am leveling up. I am increasing the size of my box, which contains a lot more of the vib uh, different vibrations, the different emotions. And, you know, I heard in the early 90s, uh, emotion, if you look at it as E hyphen motion, energy in motion, then it makes it at least for me, easier to be with an emotion and allow it to move through me instead of having to hold on, oh, I'm sad. Now, I need to be sad for at least fill in whatever your belief yeah. system. And most of those belief systems are totally unconscious. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it's I'm really looking at the fact that I'm increasing the container that I have. And therefore, more is available to me, which also makes it easier to shift, to choose something different. And can I add something on that? Because of the emotion, the, the movement is also when there is an intense emotion. What if you ask in that moment, where is this sense I have moving me or towards or true. So yeah. it is really getting that judgments don't lead anywhere. No. They 
keep you stuck because then you have to go along with your judgment, whatever the judgment is, but then you, you, you have to hang on to that judgment and then you will do everything to prove that your judgment is correct. the correct one. Yeah. So when we let go of the judgment and we really get that emotion is an energy that an energy of the body, an energy of the earth and our body that is moving us to become more clear about something, to work through something, whatever it is. That's at least true for me. And uh, I think because we're asked uh, if we can make a question for that, the question that you proposed is, what is that emotion uh, showing me? Yeah. Uh, showing me, moving system, me. Moving me towards, uh, and, you know, especially of the emotions that we tend to judge negatively, to ask what is right about this emotion. Because, you know, I just realize I'm feeling an emotion and I'm not necessarily clear on why I'm feeling that emotion. Am I, am I feeling that emotion? Is it coming out of me? Am I picking up somebody else's emotion? Am I picking up uh, the earth's emotion? And you probably remember months ago when uh, the war in with Ukraine started that I said, I'm picking up a tremendous amount of sadness and uh, despair. And then when I read the news, I said, oh, okay, that's what I was picking up because it was already going on, Europe being ahead of us time-wise, but I didn't know, uh, cognitively know about that. So, And if you see that in the movement, Karina, this is something that emotion you had moved you into the awareness due to what you read about it. So you knew, oh, there is something going on. So the movement is is not all, always heavy and intense or whatever. The emotions moves you some in, in some sometimes in a split second to get it clear. Oh, it's not mine. Yeah. So thank you. Oh, I am so aware because it's not because we are aware of something that we have to respond or taking actions or that we have to do something that we are responsible for it. We can acknowledge also the movement of the emotion that goes through us just for having the clarity, just having the awareness. And what I would say, it's also, what if I'm willing to stay to be present with that emotion? What if I'm willing to not push it aside? How much change can that willingness of being with the emotion create in the world? Because uh, it's, there is a certain, for me, there's a certain energy. If I'm pushing something aside, I'm basically saying, I'm not willing to be present with that. Yeah. And being willing to be present with it, uh, I've heard lately so much, oh, we need to bear witness. And there, there are, you know, it's a very Buddhist uh, viewpoint to bear witness. But you can't bear witness if you're pushing something aside. 
and slightly because it's an energy I perceive coming in is by being present is not the same. Being present with the emotion is not the same as becoming the emotion. That yes, thank you. Because that is taking on the emotion yeah. where you you stop the movement, where you stop the motion, and that is something different. Yes, what is she saying? I'm not choosing this anymore. I want something different. Yay! That's what we are choosing. Something yes. different. <laughs> because also when, from my experience, and it can be different from, from your experience, Karina, but what I notice is really going in every movement. And it's not only emotion that is a movement. No. Thoughts can be also the movement you require, etc. But allowing without judgment, in allowance and being present with it and working through the thing. So the frequency is leveling up and I don't have to do anything because everything Thing is a choice also i choose to be with it and to go through it so but from uh, yeah, the change in frequency every day there opens up another world looked like so <laughs> in a way it is yes. even yeah you see literally also you see so much more and, and you experience uh, so much more. Uh, I mean, just what I shared with you yesterday, uh, the experience I had Saturday, uh, driving through uh, the mountains here where you have spring and all the uh, aspen are green, that vibrant spring green and the space I was in, and as a sudden, I experienced an intense joy of being alive. Yeah. But if I'm holding on to emotion, if I would not have, and I'm just becoming aware of that right now, if I would not have increased the space of my emotional container, I probably would not have been able to feel, at least on that intensity level, the joy of being alive. I might have felt the joy of being alive, seeing the green aspen, etc. But that intensity was just something that was washing through me. And could that be, Karina? because you mentioned it, you opened up your container. So the, your frequency is different. So from that aspect, the vibration, the connection with the green tops also is different. So you yeah. can receive again. It is that gifting way. and receiving that we do to, towards ourselves and within nature. So when something goes up, everything in nature that already is vibrating and on that frequency is available, becomes available also, and yeah. you become it. So that is something in a way that I experience also. It, it looks like the grass has another color. The flowers smell different. The flowers have another color. The birds, the songs of the birds are, yeah, it, it's, everything changes. It is, yeah, it's, just, it's just, joy. <laughs> just one example. Uh, I think... Even a year, maybe two years ago, it would have annoyed me to no end that there is a, a cricket underneath my window every evening serenading me. And you, will, I, you, you say you wouldn't receive from him. Yeah, I, I, I would have been annoyed by it. Do you have to make that much noise? I want to go to sleep. You know, that would have been the energy. And now I'm just sort of cuddling into the bed and, and saying, oh, thank you. That it is that thank you because you acknowledge the animal, the insect, whatever it is that is appearing, 
the clicking in this uh, moment, but you acknowledge it and you acknowledge the concert, the communication is giving you and you receive it and how much quicker it can be shutting up because you received it. Or, which is what is happening for me, I just fall asleep. Because I'm not fighting it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting into that, ah, so much noise, shut up, I want it quiet. There is a fighting against something and I can just, it can be part of my world. And that is something beautiful that you mentioned here, that fight. The more you change, you choose something different and the fight is coming out automatically frequency goes up because the yeah. two don't go together. Yeah. And what I noticed in, in the hike this weekend was also the insects become, how would I say it, become one of the family, the human family also in, in a way as they didn't bite me. They were flying and, and we were really hiking in, in a wildish uh, space. So there were a lot of new insects I never saw before, for example. But I was so wondering. And then I was looking and saying hi. And then they opened their their ace, um, aces and then they fly away. And so, so much more is possible mm -hmm. to receive because, yeah, you... You, you are open up when you open up your container, then you are for so much more open. What I'm just getting wondering is as my world opens up, increases in size in a way because it includes more instead of pushing out stuff. Yeah. yeah. That is that related to the vibration? And, and as I said before, uh, in the beginning, it's not that I'm now vibrating there. The whole container is available and it's a smooth, it's, there is no resistance, there is no fighting. It's just all smooth moving in that way bigger increasing ever increasing container as I'm willing to increase my vibration. And that's the flexibility. And that is also allowing that there is no target. There is no endpoint. It is an yeah. ongoing flow. As we see, yeah, it's, it's in a way we are such babies, babies that start to explore a whole new world. And we don't yes. rush <laughs> and we don't have to rush. And, and it, it is for me really, 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 really notable. And, and I experience it every day that I am living in another world. I am living mm -hmm. something completely different. And this world, this reality is still going on also, but it doesn't affect me as much because there are still points that affected me because I am still going through that learning to mm -hmm. become more, to become more clear. So of course there are still things that has an effect or that touches me or whatever, but in general, I'm having so much fun. And do you know where I do have a lot of fun also with? It's yeah. like laughing with myself as, oh my God, that was something that I was cho choosing before also. Oh, and it was like that when you choose this and that. So it, it is also, that is the emotion also from the a movement that, that lets you play with yourself, that allows you to continuous play with everything that appears and it's not always ease because those past 14 days before it was not fun it was not ease but nevertheless you wouldn't do without it 
I wouldn't do without it. And exactly because the reward, quote unquote, is what I experience now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah hell yes. And what is in, in a period of time of 24,000 years, what are 14 days? Nothing. It's not even a breath, a complete breath. It is, yeah, so fast. And, you know, relative, if we go with uh, how long is humankind on the earth? What are 14 days? And then how long is humankind on the earth relative to earth history? That is, you know, yeah. negligible. Yeah. Yeah. So what what is that time pressure that we put on us? And yeah. in all honesty, saying this right now, I become aware is this, this what if? I mean, intellectually we say, yeah, time is a construct, da 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 da. But are we actually getting it? You get it when you get it, Karina. You get it when, yeah. And I think I just got on some level, duh. If I don't get it today, do, do I have to be sad? Do I have to touch myself? Do I have to whatever? Instead of just saying, yeah, okay, I'll get it next month. So what? So what? And even within that, the little tiny bits, nearly invisible, nearly palpable, or nearly experienced, but everything we do for, for ourselves and within ourselves has an effect on everything. Around us, yes. Even when it looks like you are lazy and you are just watching TV or reading a book or or doing crochet or whatever it is, even in that moment, you are still a contribution. And when that is clear, when you, when you are willing to receive that, also that changes a lot in time perspective. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it is always, off. it is. It is, it is more than time to take the pressure off. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm curious, uh, even for Tatiana. I just want to say that we don't change faster because we put time pressure on us. Oh, no. The and opposite. At least I have that experience. You know? It is the opposite. And I was always, because, yeah, I won't have the change yesterday or the way be the week before. But then you rush through so many things that somehow you put aside those who are probably from importance. But because you have uh, that urge to go and go and go, it is, yes, yes, that, that we will do later on if I'm there. If and I'm there or you put blinders on. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. Because with that you're pushing away. only shooting yeah. for that, that you can't see any of the other contributions that are actually present, despite you not changing as fast yeah. as you thought you should. And that emotion can bring you around those things and underneath and above and exactly. wherever. Yeah. So what I wanted to say only was so I'm happy, but and and I hope especially for Tatiana that she takes out something. So yeah. what is Tatiana, if I am so free to ask your question, is just tapping into yourself. Could it be that your frequency already changed? just by being present here with the conversation and receiving what we shared with you. So that's just the yep. question that I have. <laughs> and what do you know that you have not yet acknowledged that you know? Oh, yes. Not acknowledging what we know. <laughs> I'm good it at that. That's very familiar. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs>
<laughs> but I'm choosing difference. So yeah, you never know what I know now within five minutes, within an hour, within a year, you never know. Yeah. We will share. We will share. And for right now, we are not planning in a week, but we're planning another Facebook Live in two weeks. Yes. And then uh, we're not making it a fixed thing. I'll just try to post on Facebook if we're on or not. Yes. So Great. Thank you, Marianne, for your contribution. And thank, thank you, you Karina, for being present yeah. with us and seeing us as I put on Facebook. See you later. See you later, alligator. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. Keep your frequency high. <laughs>